Art is everything. It reflects many aspects of life of the people, in cultures, behaviors, traditions, and other practices of lives. It shows the creativity of a person by exposing his or her ideas as an artist. When we see arts, it has many varieties. It can be a music, dances, architectural design, painting, calligraphy, or even in terms of war, where art can be applied. Back then, during the pre-colonial in what we call today the Philippines, the ancestors of these every islands has a very unique and rich in culture. The whole archipelago composed by many countries during the pre-colonial, a diverse and multi-ethnic, but has a connection in each other, especially in terms of arts. In every islands has a different form of arts, in music, poems, in architecture, and many more. Just like in Mindanao, in their famous architectural design of the houses of the chieftain, or many known as Dato, Raja, or Sultan. The Luzon and Visayas are also known by their Tato's design for the warriors, or what we call Bagani. Tato's design symbolizes many aspects of life, such as in battle, nature, direction, values, and many more. Those that I have mentioned are just a few of many arts in the whole islands of the archipelago, just like the traditional dances, music, poems, and many more. From being a free, multi-ethnic, and diverse countries of each islands, suddenly the invaders come, just like the Spaniards, which they also promote their own culture, traditions, and most especially their form of arts. The arts of the Spaniard align in the religion of Roman Catholic, just like many other known, the Santo Niño de Cebu, which first introduced in one of the island in Visayas, who accepted by the leader Raja Humabon. But many long years of the colonialization of the Spaniards in the Philippines, the form of arts is also evolved, most especially in terms of painting and sculpture, where during those times is very famous. But many Filipinos stood up to show their talents in arts, just like our national heroes like Juan Luna in his famous painting, The Spolarium, also Dr. Jose Rizal in his heartwarming poems, A Novel Arts. But it has never ended in the colonialization of the Spaniards. The next colonizers is the Americans in which they brought high influence in their own form of arts to the Filipino people. The form of arts by the Americans is also famous through paintings, sculptures, and architectural designs. And even now, most of the structures designs of the establishment in the Philippines like the museum and universities are influenced by the Americans. As the time goes by, even in the contemporary arts are also influenced by the invaders from the Spaniards up to the Americans.